together yeah yeah squeeze squeeze those knees there these are Kelden lights these are the longer Kelden lights and this is a C a cinematic cannon it's just massive so you need good buoyancy for this <laughs> how do you do it I don't know I just like <laughs> maybe just you know like you guys gotta check out Shirley's last video where she tried out this uh, mermaid tail she's gonna get some really cool mermaid stuff in the coming weeks hopefully if uh, the uh, post office will ever send it to us anyways guys welcome to a new video today is a beautiful one here in Malapasco we've been so lucky with the weather summer is here we got the crystal clear water in front of us and today is gonna be a training day we already uh, saw some sharks this morning we also saw eagle ray and some dolphins on the way so uh, what a spectacular morning it's about 9 30 a.m. and Bo is gonna be teaching me all the technical stuff when it comes to both diving and underwater photography. For three days here, I didn't see any shark yet because I'm still not okay to do scuba diving. So we need to be patient with my ear. So yeah, fin, see a lot of things. Eagle ray, shark, dolphin, name oh, it. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, Shirley's a little bit uh, jealous that I saw, saw these things so far, but we want to play it safe. No, we don't want to risk the ears because that is one of the most fragile things when you're doing underwater stuff. Bo has been such a great guy so far, teaching me a whole bunch, even though we've just been here two days. We really don't get this one-on-one -on -one experience and he really focuses on you. And uh, it's a very fair price as well. So if you want to hit him up, if you want to do scuba diving and learn something really great, check out Bo. But without further ado, let's do some training. Without me. I'm not sure what I'm gonna film because it's just gonna be training. So. Uh. Ah, now I know why Finn wants me to bring in that in underwater because he don't have any photographer or videographer to be with. Am I right? No. I uh, just want you to be there with us. Eee, just tell me the truth. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. See ya. Whoa! What a nice suit. Yes, I'm ready. Stand up for me. Look at that guys. And then the pink fins there somewhere. They are ready. Alright, we're going to the boat. That's where we're gonna drop off and do some training. Uh, Bo has been briefing us. We did about 30, 40 minute introduction, some techniques, and now it's time to put him to the test. Thank you. 
We finished a long day of 3000 hours of training. Completely exhausted physically and mentally, we slept early. Only to wake up for a breathtaking sunrise and the ocean wind stroking the skin. Disconnected from thoughts, stress and emotions, emptiness of pure state of mind. The ocean is where I feel alive. The Thresher Sharks of Malapascua is one of a kind place on planet Earth. Nowhere else can you see them come up each and every single day into the shallow depth. These beautiful sharks with tails longer than their bodies are no ordinary sharks. They live in the deep depths. That's where they hunt, using their massive tail to knock out their prey. They are also master of long distance ocean travels, maneuvering the currents with their large fins, just like birds soaring the skies. But why do these deep sea sharks make themselves visible in Malapascua? It's simple, it's their cleaning station. Another small fish called Rasso cleans their shark skin. Fascinating how the ecosystem works together. Unlike us humans, the shoal of Manad used to flourish with life. But reefs and marine life do recover. The home of the thresher shark is protected for the last 10 years, 24 seven by park rangers. In time, we hope a return of all the rare creatures to come back again.